You think it's not going to happen to you until it does. Ladies, this is for you. The person who's responsible for your safety, no matter where you are or what you're doing, is you. Tonight, Fox finds out the top four mistakes women make that are putting them in danger of violence. It is a fact, women often are the victims of crimes, including violent ones. And that is why self-defense instructors are hoping women will think about taking a class and not just learn how to fight back. These classes could help prevent an attack from ever happening in the first place. Fox 59's Aisha Husney finds out tonight the top four mistakes we all make that can put our lives in danger. You think it's not going to happen to you until it does. Amanda and Michael Valenti own the School of Self-Defense in Carmel, and they're using their martial arts training to empower girls and women. Too often they've seen women come into their studio after they've been attacked, which is why they teamed up with us to reveal the top four mistakes people make that can put them at greater risk of an assault. Number one, not recognizing who the bad guy is. Being attacked by a random person, someone you don't know, makes up about 10% of all assaults. The vast majority of them are people being attacked by someone they know really well. If you overlook too many flaws, you may miss some of the signs that that person is a potentially abusive person. Number two, not paying attention to your surroundings. The person who's responsible for your safety, no matter where you are or what you're doing, is you. You can't trust other people to take care of you at a party. You need to be watching your drink. You can't trust, you know, that your boyfriend's a nice guy and he's never even get mad and try to swing on you. You're responsible for your own safety. Number three, not displaying confidence. I'm not saying you have to be a big, scary, evil person, but if you carry yourself in a way that is going to prevent someone from targeting you, and the bad guy can smell that from a mile away. And so the number one way to develop a confidence is to develop the skill that backs it up and then the confidence kind of comes naturally. And finally, the fourth top mistake people make not knowing when it's time to act. Somebody's in your personal space, somebody's been staring at you too long. Like, how aggressive does somebody have to be with me before it's okay for me to, you know, put my hands up or it's okay for me to, you know, fight back in some way? And verbally, the answer is always, it's always okay. And when it is time to act, the Valentes teach women how to respond. Boom. It doesn't matter how small you are. I weigh 120 pounds, and with some practice, boom, boom, I should be able to do down, this. Yeah. Hit boom. <laughs> and then not fall on top of you. <laughs> they even go over how to properly use tools like pepper spray, a tool many women carry but have never actually used. And if you don't have that muscle memory of flipping that switch when you have an adrenaline rush or when you know you're anxious about because you're in a bad situation, um, having to deal with you know a little tiny any fine motor skill kind of thing like a uh, safety on your pepper spray can be a really make or break moment. The Valentes want girls and women learning skills that could make all the difference. I kind of think about it like a fire extinguisher, right? You have a fire extinguisher in your house, but you don't want to use it. But if something lights on fire in your kitchen, you're gonna be really glad you have a fire extinguisher. There's the lag out. <laughs> Some powerful eye-opening information, very helpful. There are so many self-defense schools around central Indiana. Some are only for women so, and some longer than others. So it's important, of course, to find the right one that fits you. We do have a list of some ideas in the Indy area on our website. Just click on this story.